Imagine a race of alien invaders that can consume all life in the galaxy. They travel in massive hive fleets of living ships, controlled by a single, unfathomable mind. They invade, predate, and consume worlds in a systematic and ruthless process, leaving behind nothing but barren wastelands. They are the Tyranids, and they are coming for you. Welcome back, my friends. Today we will be talking about in depth about everything an Imperial citizen must know about a Tyranid invasion. If you enjoy the content, remember to subscribe and leave a like if you have fun. Glad to have you here. Remember to write a comment and tell me what you think about the video. The Tyranids are a horrific race of alien invaders that have only one goal to consume all life in the galaxy. They travel in colossal hive fleets of living ships, each one controlled by a single unfathomable psychic entity known as the Hive Mind. First, we will cover the Genestealer cults. The Genestealers are a type of Tyranid bioform that specialize in infiltrating and subverting other intelligent species. They have a parasitic reproductive cycle that allows them to create hybrid offspring with their hosts, forming cults that worship the Tyranid hive mind as a god. These cults secretly undermine the society and defenses of their prey worlds, preparing them for the arrival of the Tyranid hive fleet. During a Tyranid invasion, the Genestealers perform two primary roles. First, they act as assault troops in Tyranid swarms, using their claws, speed and stealth to tear apart their enemies. Second, they can be found as an advanced reconnaissance force of a Tyranid hive fleet, preparing future planetary invasions and aiding biomass absorption through the use of their unusual reproduction method and the establishment of Genestealer cults. The Genestealers are part of the hive mind, but they also have some degree of independence and intelligence when they are on their own. They can pose as a religion or a secret society, infecting their followers and spreading their genetic curse. They may also try to escape from a doomed world by hiding in refugee ships or other vessels seeking new worlds to infect. The Genestealers are one of the most dangerous and insidious threats that the Tyranids pose to the galaxy. They can infiltrate and corrupt any civilization from within, weakening it for the inevitable Tyranid onslaught. The Tyranid invasion of a new prey world is a systematic and ruthless process that advances through a series of known stages, each one bringing the planet closer to its inevitable doom. The first stage is the shadow in the warp. This is when the Tyranid Hive fleet approaches the target system, creating a massive psychic disturbance that blocks all communication and navigation in the warp, the dimension that allows faster than light travel and telepathy. This effectively isolates the planet from any reinforcements or escape attempts, and also causes fear and madness among the psychers and the population. The shadow in the warp can be detected by astropaths and other sensitive individuals who may try to warn others of the impending danger, but often their messages are distorted or ignored. The second stage is the epidemic. This is when the Tyranid Hive fleet launches billions of spores and bio-vessels into the planet's orbit, seeding the atmosphere with alien organisms. These spores infect and mutate the local flora and fauna, creating new Tyranid creatures that begin to attack and devour anything they encounter. The bio-vessels also deploy smaller craft, such as mycetic spores and drop pods, that carry larger Tyranid warriors and monstrous creatures to the surface. The Tyranids establish beachheads and begin to spread across the planet, overwhelming any resistance with sheer numbers and ferocity. The epidemic stage can last for days or weeks, depending on the size of the planet and the strength of its defenders. The third stage is the invasion. This is when the Tyranid Hive Fleet unleashes its full might upon the planet, deploying its most powerful and terrifying bioforms. The Tyranids launch massive assaults on strategic locations such as cities, fortresses and power plants, using their organic artillery, flying creatures and tunneling beasts to break through any defences. The Tyranids also employ psychic attacks, using their synapse creatures to coordinate their forces and project fear and pain into their enemies' minds. The Tyranids show no mercy or hesitation, slaughtering and consuming everything in their path. The invasion stage can last for hours or days, depending on the intensity of the conflict. The fourth and final stage is the consumption. This is when the Tyranid Hive fleet has achieved total victory over the planet, leaving behind a barren wasteland devoid of any life. The Tyranids erect capillary towers and reclamation pools, 
which pump all the biomass and nutrients from the planet into orbit, where they are absorbed by the hive ships. The Tyranids also harvest any useful genetic material from their prey, incorporating it into their own genome for future evolution. The consumption stage can last for days or weeks, depending on the amount of biomass available. The Tyranid hive fleet then departs from the system, leaving nothing but a dead rock in its wake. This is how the Tyranids invade, predate and consume a world. They are a relentless and unstoppable force of nature that poses an existential threat to all life in the galaxy. Only by uniting against them can the Imperium of Man hope to survive their onslaught. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Let us hope our corner of the galaxy doesn't end up on the wrong end of a tendril of the Hive Fleet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe for more. We will see each other next time. Until then, keep the light of the Emperor burning.